Hey guys, I wanted to answer a question I've been getting a lot recently, and it's whether or not you can have a borzoi with cats. Uh, the quick answer, at least for me, has been yes, but there are a lot of precautions you have to take. First of all, you have to understand prey instinct, and borzois are sighthounds, which means that they're going to hunt by sight, so anything that is running, scurrying, bolting, even flying away from them has a chance to trigger their instinctual desire to hunt. And it's something that you cannot control. This is part of the reason why when you have a borzo, you have to keep them on a leash all the time. You don't know what's going to trigger them. And once they're going, they're gone. It's like lightning in a bottle, essentially. And borzoi's temperament is going to lull you into a false sense of security. They're very calm. They're very sleepy. They're very slow. They're very gentle on the lead. But once that stuff gets going, it can go to crazy mode very, very, very quickly. Hi, sweetie. Luckily, Esper doesn't seem to have a very strong prey drive. Uh, we got Aura very young, so we've been really trying to teach her, you know, between what is the right thing to chase and what isn't. Um, but you always have to be aware of that. So when you're considering bringing a borzoi into your home, uh, whether or not you already have cats, or if you have a borzoi and you're bringing a cat into your family, you really have to be careful. Um, I have found, at least in Esper's case, her brother Vladimir has a very, very strong prey instinct. Um, it seems like the males tend to have a little bit more aggressive prey instinct, especially if they're intact. Uh, he will chase down and he murders squirrels and skunks. It doesn't matter. Once he's going, he's essentially, he's gone. Uh, luckily, he lives in the wilderness and that's not a problem. Also, he lives with a cat. So, once a borzoi understands what's right and what is wrong as far as what they're allowed to uh, chase and what they're not, they're, they're pretty good at that. Ranger, the cat that my parents have, actually lives with three borzois and has for the last 10 years and there's never been a problem. Uh, but I have heard horror stories. So you have to make sure if you the age of the dog is very, very important. Vlad and Esper were, were exposed to cats and now Aura were exposed to cats very early on. We take... Esper and Aura over to my sister's house and they meet her gaggle of cats and they have their interesting standoffs and a lot of times it ends with neither one of them wanting to pay either one of the other attention. So the age of the dog is very important. If it's an adult borzoi that has not had a lot of acclimation with small animals, you might find that you can't even bring that borzoi around small dogs. It will trigger them. So you have to be very, very careful and a lot of it is a specific dog dog by dog basis as far as how strong their prey instinct is um so aside from aside from the sex of the dog and the age of the dog and i tell everybody who is considering getting a borzoi if they're going to get it from a breeder do your best to try to meet the parents you know borzois are specifically bred for show or they're bred for coursing Coursing is essentially just preying on their prey instinct to get them to run fast after animals on a course. So um, if you're getting a dog from a coursing line, you might find that their prey instinct's a lot stronger if you're getting them for a show dog. But I would literally try to meet the parents. I think that's a really important thing. The other thing to consider too is the temperament of your cat. You know, you're dealing with another sentient being and depending on what the cat is like, it might be an aggressive cat, it might be a cat that runs away more so again it's gonna be it's gonna depend on all the animals in the picture of this one um i'm gonna do a blog post about this a little more extensive and collect my thoughts and and kind of write down some of the anecdotal stories and how uh and how we acclimated esper to cats luckily she's so mellow and so is aura that they they just haven't had a problem with a lot of things right off the start uh, but thank you guys uh, another thing another thing that i have done and this might just be I don't know if it's overkill. We don't really buy, they make specific coursing toys for Borzois, which are essentially like little wiggly things you bring on a stick or you attach to a line and it really triggers them to chase. We have not included those sorts of things in our play regime. Um, I think just a way to mitigate um, activating Aura's prey instinct on that level, uh, We just for the safety of the dog. I don't know if there. I don't know if there's any scientific evidence that shows that there's a relationship between the two. Uh, that's just a choice that we made. One more thing I forgot to mention: uh, before you leave your dog alone with the cat, you really got to make sure that they're that you understand their behavior and it's not going to be a problem. I don't think I would leave them unsupervised outside with a cat, at least not to start, at least not until they have had a lot of time to, to observe the behavior. Ranger, my parents' cat, Esper has been alone with a number of times. 
and never had a problem. I think it's because that cat's more like a dog. I don't know. Uh, but I just recommend being very, very careful. And especially if some, if you're going to leave your dog unsupervised with a cat, just be, just be very, very, very careful with that. Um, you know, and my wife brought up, say hi, Tina, that um, Aura, where she was raised, they was raised with cats as well. So luckily, both of our boys were raised with them from the get go. And I think that's a big part of it. Uh, so thank you. Sorry for the short addendum and the strange camera angle. Aura, come here. 